Karibuni sana tena kwenye original East Media basi kama vipi wabunge kama mnavyojua Afrika Kusini tupo nyumbani na leo tupo zaidi nchini Kenya. Sikasi kwa muda sasa kuna mdali mmoja wacha nisemi mtoto alijitokeza. Na kipindi alijitokeza alitoka na story ambayo iliwafanya watu wengi wafikirie kwamba ana cloud chase kama wakenya wanavyosema. Yaani anatafuta kiki, anataka watu wamuongelele. Basi huyo dada aliclaim kwamba Willy Paul alimwalika kwake nyumbani na yeye akaenda na alipoenda ali jaribu kulala naye na yeye akamkataza yani akamnyima vitu. Huyu mtoto anaenda kwa jina la Shakila. Sasa sijui kama alitaka kujiita Shakira na sijui kama hiyo Shakila ni jina lake la kuzaliwa. Ila kadada kana mbwembwe, huyu mtoto ni ana mbwembwe. Yani kwa kifupi huyu mtoto ni wale wenye unasema sikio la kufa halisiki dawa. Ni kila kukicha anatokea na story mpya. Hadi watu wamekuwa najiuliza wazazi wake wapo wapi ama relatives wake wapo wapi. Basi baada ya huyu Shakila huo wakati ku, ku claim kwamba Willy Paul kashala la naye basi kulitokea story kwamba Shakila akakuwa kidnapped yani alikuwa ameenda likizo Mombasa alafu marafiki zake wakakuwa wanasema kwamba amekuwa kidnapped na hakuna mtu anaweza mpata hata kwa simu kitu ambacho kiliwapa wengine wasiwasi manake Shakila ni msichana ambaye ni mdogo na amekuwa anajihusisha na watu wazima na, na pia na situations ambazo they could be dangerous for her lakini hata hivyo kuna wenye walisema Shakila ana cloud chase kama kawaida na at the end of the day it's true Shakila was cloud chasing. Shakila inaonekana ni mdada ambaye ameamua a cloud chase, yani anataka kuwa maarufu kwa mna yoyote haijalishi kwa njia gani mradi akue maarufu yani akue famous Tanzania tunaweza sema aliye na tabia kama za Shakila ni officialin lakini hata naona officialin yuko afadhali Shakila amezidi kabisa basi huyo demu ameamua waache watu mdomo wazi na alipoenda live na Xtandela ambaye pia ni mwanamitindo nchini Kenya ni YouTuber na pia ni blogger basi Shakila akaamua aweke list ya wanaume aliolala na How many celebs have you fucked? How many what? Celebs. How many celebs are fucked? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see there's Otile Brown, there's KRG, there's Willy Paul, there is Papa Joe Twelve. Uh there is Brown Mauzo, there is Masauti. <laughs> um na amini usiamini mmoja wao katika listi hilo alikuwa ni Victor Wanyama na Shakila alisema kwamba Victor paid her 700k ili alale na yeye. The conversation was a bit interesting. Manake Extendela alimuuliza kwa hiyo wewe ina maana wewe ni malaya? Basi Shakila akaanza kumauma mdomo. Neno haya mtoki. You charge men to have sex with them. Yeah, Keyword you charge for sex. What does that make you? Since kuna watu yes, yes. Yes. Wewe ni malaya. I am a ho. Don't say that. I am a ho. If you can No, no, no ho ni malaya kwa Kiswahili. I'm just okay. You are a ho. Yeah, for money. So anyone yes. in Nairobi can fuck you if they have money. Yeah, that's why I'm 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 telling you my rates. I'm telling okay, you. Okay. Okay, okay. From Victor Wanyama to KRG, to, to Ringtone, to, to Papa Jones. Okay, can you rank me the the top 5 people who paid you the most amount of money? What? From Victor Wanyama to KRG to Calligraph Jones to Ringtone, who has paid you the most amount of money? The top 5 people. I think the one who has paid me a lot of money honestly was Wanyama. That's how much? Year. And then you know I'm going to a tournament on oh, no. that day in the house whoa lo lo that house was just everywhere I even you know like the good thing about me is that my free time always watch Kama Sutra you know yeah that well, no 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 wait, wait, wait. you're deviating how much did he pay you it was it six no it was seven 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 
700 Xiandela akaendelea kumwambia tell me the maana wewe ni malaya maana yake ukilipwa for sex inamaanisha wewe ni malaya you are selling a service sex kama service so ilimbidi Shakila a given aseme yeah is true i'm a whore mimi na, na, nachukua pesa kwa sex so Xiandela akamuuliza kwa hiyo wanyama lilipa hiyo pesa yote kwa pusi ambayo ina kilomita nyingi hivyo Shakila akasema pusi yake ni young Xian akamwambia wewe ni young lakini pusi yako ni mzee kwani iko na mileage nyingi sana tukikount wanaume wote uliolala nao Honestly speaking I didn't find this funny from him I found this a little bit insulting but anyway wabunge Shakila hakuishia hapo aliendelea kupeana list ya wanaume aliolala nao ambao ni maarufu so kuna hao wengine wenye sio maarufu lakini hawa binafsi niliowachagua ni wale wenye ni maarufu basi kilichowaacha watu mdomo wazi ni Shakila kusema kwamba Melala na governor ndio sababu ametoka Mombasa basi akaulizwa yule governor mmoja tu tunamjua governor wetu wa Mombasa Shakila akajibu eh ndio basi wengine tukabaki mdomo wazi maana inaonekana huyu mtoto yani amekauka kama radi basi hapo hapo Mombasa sani akaoni siwe tabu akaongezea nani masauti masauti aliyefanya collab lately na Tanasha na yeye yupo kwenye list ya Shakila mwingine aliyekuwa kwenye list ya Shakila ni Rington na basi wa Kenya wengi wanangoja sana kuona mwanamke wake ataposti nini baada ya haya kusambaa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii alafu bana Shakila hakuishia hapo kama nilivyosema sikio la kufa aliski dawa kamtaja Calligraph Jones kwanza akaongezea Calligraph Jones ana kitu kama mshakiki yani tango sio tango tango ni kama pilipili kasema ni carrot kabisa da yani mtoto anajua kutafuta fitina huyu yani huyu mgomvi kabisa sasa mi sijui kama ndio haogopi ama ndio nini kinamtuma kweli manake watu wengi wanasema anadanganya manake hata alipoulizwa basi wamekulipa pesa ngapi au wengine hasemi haya bwana we habari zikamfikia Calligraph Jones kama mnavyojua Calligraph Jones pia na yeye alifanya collab na Tanasha akamtumia Shakila message akamwambia nakupa masaa mawili urudishe maongezi yako na uombe msamaa sijawahi kutana na wewe na wala siku kujui hadi sasa hivi hatujaona kama Shakila ameomba msamaa ila we are going to stay tuned and see what happens next manake inaonekana ni kama Shakila alisema urongo maongezi yote aliyoyaongea on that live session inaonekana kama ni urongo lakini watu wengi hawaelewi kwa nini anafanya hivyo basi manake some things could be very dangerous kama vile kufungua mdomo kusema amelala na governor kama hajalala na yeye hata kama angelikuwa amelala na yeye bado watu wakubwa kama hao waheshimiwa wanafanya mambo yao kwa discreet. So sidhani kama angefurahishwa kwa kitendo kama hicho. Inasemekana Shakila bado anaenda shule. So mi nashangazwa na tabia zake kweli anazozifanya kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Basi Shakila hakuishia hapo, aliendelea kuentertain watu. Kama vipi alianza kusema yuko honi, akakuwa namuomba Xtiandela wakutane, amtoe hizo nyege. Xtiana akasema no 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 sikutaki, mimi sitaki. So Shakila akasema atachukua remote aje kwangu nayo. Na kweli mtoto huyo alichukua remote ya TV akaanza kuingiza kwenye uke wake mbele ya kamera. Mtu anaangalia mchana weupe. Kwa kweli hiki kitendo kimewaacha watu wengi mdomo wazi. Hawakuelewa mtoto mdogo kama Shakila, mtoto wa miaka 19 atakuja vipi kwenye social media anze kujifanya mambo kama hayo mbele za watu. Yaani watu wanajiuliza wazazi wake wako wapi ama relatives wake wapo wapi? Wengine wanasema Shakila anaiga watu maarufu maarufu kutoka nchini Marekani ambao walianzisha umaarufu wao kupitia skendo chafu chafu kama hizo. Lakini wengine walisema kwamba kama hivyo ndivyo wanataka hiyo haita work Kenya manake Kenya sio Marekani na pia kuna wengine wanaosema anaweza kafanikiwa manake watu kama kina Verasidika ama kina Huda Monroe walianza hivyo kupost picha za uchi lakini tofauti kati yao wao hawajawahi taja wanaume waliolala 
nao kwa kweli kitendo anachokifanya Shakila ni kibaya sana wengi wanasema kinaweza mkosti maisha yake inahuzunisha sana manake kitendo alichokifanya Shakila jana kitamfuata maisha yake yote lakini pia inaonekana kama imekuwa mtindo manake wasichana wadogo sana wanajitoa mwanga kabisa kwenye social media wanakuja na vitu kama vya pono wanakuja na picha za uchi ili mradi mtu apate kuongelelewa yote tisa kumi ni sawa kama ni picha za pono ama za uchi lakini sasa wakianza kutaja watu ambao ni watu maarufu ambao wakifanya vitu vyao huwa wanavifanya wamejificha mimi naona kama wanajiingiza kwenye matatizo manake sioni kama kisa cha kumtaja gavana Joe eti alilala na yeye kama ataichukulia poa haya basi wabunge yetu macho tutaendelea kuangalia tuone listi ya wanaume waliotajwa na huyu mtoto kama vipi walilala naye tuone watakachokijibu na watakachosema kuhusiana na haya na kusi uendelee kusubscribe kuweka on notification zenu ili mpate habari moto moto punde tu zinapotufikia sisi na msisahau ku comment ku like mimi na sign out tukutane wakati mwingine kwa herini